next we proceed to another rules that is the derivative of a quotient known as quotient rule also the same we have ux and vx are differentiable function the derivative of fx equal ux over vx is f prime x and here we have the vx multiply with the u prime x minus ux multiply with v prime x over vx all squared in short the question rule can be written in function notation as u over v prime equal don't forget we have to use the v first v u prime minus u v prime over v squared let us look at the example here differentiate each of the following function the first question is y equal 1 plus x power negative 1 times with x minus 1 here for this question we can solve by using product rule but now i want to use the quotient rule first we have to change this question into fraction y is equal because of this is the power negative 1 meaning that here is 1 over 1 plus x times with x minus 1 x minus 1 over 1 plus x so now because of we are going to use the quotient rule u over v meaning that here is u over v now let uh, u is equal x minus 1 so u prime is 1 and then we let v is 1 plus x and v prime is also 1 now we substitute in the quotient rule the question given the y function and then we can write the dy dx substitute into the quotient rule don't forget we have to substitute v first that is v 1 plus x times 1 minus u x minus 1 times 1 divide by v squared v squared we have 1 plus x squared after that we simplify the numerator 1 plus x minus x plus 1 divide by the denominator no need to expand this denominator we just leave it like this 1 plus x squared we can simplify here plus x minus x then we just get 2 over 1 plus x all squared this is the answer next we move to another example given y equal x squared minus 1 over x power 4 plus 1 first we have to let u equal x squared minus 1 and then we differentiate u is 2x then 
we let V equal X power 4 plus 1 then we differentiate V V we get 4x cubed. After that, we are going to differentiate y with respect to x. By using the quotient rule, okay, we start from v u prime. v is x power 4 plus 1 times with 2x minus u x squared minus 1 times with 4x cubed. Don't forget to divide by v squared that is x power 4 plus 1 squared. To simplify the numerator, first we have to see do the common factor. Do we have the common factor in both terms? Now we have here 2x and 4x cubed. We can bring out 2x as a common factor. Then we multiply all the other terms. That is x power 4 plus 1 minus 2x squared times with x squared minus 1 divide by x power 4 plus 1 squared then here we simplify in the bracket we have negative 2x power 4 plus 2x squared over x power 4 plus 1 squared then the dy dx do is 2x and we simplify x power 4 minus x 2x power 4 we get my negative x power 4 plus 2x squared plus 1 over x power 4 plus 1 squared and then we do can we factorize the expression negative x power 4 plus 2x squared plus 1? If we cannot factorize, then we leave the answer like this. Let's proceed to the last question for quotient rule. First, we let u and v let u is x minus 3 cube then find the u prime we have to use the general power rule to differentiate u here we have 3 times x minus 3 squared then multiply with 1 and the answer is 3 x minus 3 squared and then we let v is 4 plus 3 x squared also the same we have to find v prime by using a general power rule then here is 2 times 4 plus 3 x power 1 and then we have to differentiate 4 plus 3x we get 3 and the answer is 6 times 4 plus 3x after that we substitute into the quotient rule formula 
to find the f prime x first we have to put the v u prime here we have 4 plus 3 x squared multiply with 3 x minus 3 squared minus u v prime here we have x minus 3 cube multiply with 6 times 4 plus 3 x and then we have to divide by v squared is 4 plus 3 x squared and all squared after that to simplify this answer we have to see whether the two terms here have the common factor so we have here 4 plus 3x squared and here also we have 4 plus 3x and then we have x minus 3 and also we have here x minus 3 and here we have 3 and 6 then first we have to take out 3 as the common factor for 6 and then we take out 4 plus 3x and here we have power 2 and power 1 then we choose the smallest number for the power here is power 1 and then the other factor is x minus 3 and we have here power 2 and power 3 we choose the smallest number is 2 and then we multiply the other terms is 4 plus 3x minus 2 times x minus 3 divide by 4 plus 3x power 4 here we can simplify for the factors here 4 plus 3x and 4 plus 3x power 4 be 4 plus 3x power 3 then we can rewrite the other factors here 3 times x minus 3 squared then we simplify in the bracket we get here is x plus 10 over 4 plus 3x power 3 and this is the final answer here is the exercise for lecture 2 I hope that you can solve this question but we have a little bit typing error here for the first example here we have x squared plus 1 all squared multiply with 6x cubed plus with 13x squared minus 72x plus not 1 but 7 if you have a problem to solve this exercise, you may ask your tutorial lecturer. Thank you.